Uh, we've arrived in Kilmarnock for the games and there's a wee beautiful uh, memorial to the memory of the men of Kilmarnock who gave their lives in the Great War. There you go, you can see Scots Guards, Cameron Highlanders, Lancashire Yeomanry, Scottish Rifles, Highland Light Infantry, Royal Air Force, Cameron Highlanders, Army, Service Corps, the 12th Black Watch, 14th Hazards, 1st Light Infantry and the 12th Royal Scotch Fusiliers. There's a few names there for the second world war. RAC, RAF, 1939 to 1945. So they keep it nice. So that's a wee memorial at Kermunnock. And we're done here for the Highland Games. You can see the, they'll be getting set up. There's a piper. We're getting, we've got a beautiful day for it. So I'll go now and catch up with Susan and Alfie. Thanks for coming, Mays. But we're just leaving the Highland Games, and no matter where I end up, I end up in a, a kirk. So here we are at the, the Kirk of the Braes at Kermanock Parish Church, and it's a Commonwealth war graves. And I always carry poppy crosses with me. There's Susan will be doing over the rain. So, some very old stones. Some of them are fell. That's why you've got to be careful in old cut guards. The stones don't fall. But it's beautiful. You can see the beehives, there's some beehives. And water for the bees and birdies. There's a kirk itself. Beautiful old kirk. And I can see with a stone there. You get to recognise the stones. You can just see it just there. I'll go down there in a minute because this I've seen a a stone on the the kirk itself. It's there. You can see the angel. The time is fleeting. The skull and bones, that your, your bones, your skull and bones will rot somewhere. They'll be laid to rest. And it's sort of a telling you to enjoy life. Because time is fleeting. With a sundial in the middle there. And the angels are waiting for you, no matter what. And that was the guy up in Tain. Like, the wee curator up in Tain that told me all about that. Because I asked him. So I kept coming across stones with skull and bones and uh, the wee timers on them. And he explained to me what it was. So there we've got uh, Sapper. Royal Engineer, Jai D. Martin, 9th of October 1920, age 44. So I've got a poppy cross and I'll leave it down for J.D. Martin. Thank you for your service, sir. You see any more, Susan? No. Not a wee. Well, it only takes one to make it a Commonwealth graveyard. So I'm going to put this poppy cross down. Well, I've only came across one, uh, J.D. J.D. Martin. So I've got a copy clip here. J.D. Martin. Over 1920. Which part of what? Near about the sky, the sun's clear. And, um, you know, you know. You know, 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 you
Nej. <laughs> Ej, så skal det... Nå, nå, for at åbne, der vil... Og gravel, så I kan ikke poste på den her. Det er så der ikke en dønne hal, men det kommer op til hal, det er slet lidt difficult. Så Charlie's found a way. En halvfis lover det. 